What's going on is DJ Cream here at In The Mix DJ School and today I'm going to show you how you can create the ducking effect for your DJ drops when you're creating mixes inside of Studio One. Right now I have a mix that I currently did and I already laid out the drops where I want them to go. But sometimes when you play your drop, your DJ drop, the music overpowers the drop. So instead of going in and automating every time you're going to place a drop, you can use the compressor and the ducking effect to do this automatically. So the first thing you want to do is you want to group your tracks into a bus. Now you only want to group your music, not your drops. So I'm just going to select here all of my music, including any effects that I put in and stuff like that. I'm going to right click and add bus for selected tracks. Now in this view, nothing happens. But if I open up my mixer, I do see that it created a bus one and we are going to change this to the name music. Now if I look at all the individual tracks, I notice that all the outputs are going to the music bus. Now in this bus, I'm going to go ahead and add a compressor. Now with the compressor, you got to play around a little bit with the settings to get the right ducking for your DJ drops. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to turn on the side chain option and I'm going to go ahead and turn up the ratio to about 9. And the threshold is going to be how low you want the music to go when the drop comes out. So you can also adjust this once we get the music playing. You want to get the attack at a quick attack. And the release, you want to get it around, around 48, 50. Now you don't want to use the makeup gain because you don't want to give it any more loudness you just want to be able to get the music to lower when the DJ drop comes in now once we have that set up you can also save it as a preset if you want now also what you want to do is you want to route the signal of the drop into the compressor so for this we're gonna to go to this drop and we're gonna to go to the sends we're gonna to go to the sidechain option and we're going to go to the music compressor. We're also going to do that for our secondary drop. So if you have multiple DJ drops, you want to reroute the send into the compressor so I can receive the signal. Now I'm going to go ahead and loop this piece here and play around with the settings of the compressor so you can hear the effect uh, when it comes out. So as you see there, I'm not getting much of a reduction. I'm just getting about minus two. So I need to bring the threshold down. Let's listen to it now. DJ Mix. So as you see now, I'm getting a good level of reduction, which means it's bringing down the music pretty good so that the drop can cut through. Now, the release is how quick the music is going to come back up after this drop is finished. So you can also play around with it depending if you want the music to slowly come back up, then you're gonna turn up the release. Or if you want it to quickly rise back up, then maybe a shorter one. I found that around 12 o'clock is a good uh, option for the release. Now let's listen to it again. So now anytime that this drop comes out in this mix, it's always gonna lower the music. DJ Cream in the mix. Now I can also listen to it. Um, we're gonna move this drop over here and let's listen to this one. DJ Cream! Mátalo. DJ Cream! Mátalo. So that's also getting that effect on the compressor. So this is an easy way for you to go ahead and use the ducking effect on your mixes to add your DJ drops. Now, if you want to learn how to save this as a preset, you can also check out our video on our YouTube channel. If you want more information about Presonus Studio One, you can check out our six-week DJ course at InTheMixDJSchool.com.